Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll, with you till 10 o'clock. We've got one hour live with lots of brand new goodies for you. Um, how much did we love Debbie Shaw's sewing surgery yesterday? If you've got any questions, it is going to be the first Monday of every month uh, and Debbie will be there going through, ironing out any problems or if there's anything that you would like her to show. The sooner you sort of get them in, don't wait until the day, um, then obviously they can get the right products in. So if there's something that you find very difficult to source or if there's something that um, you want to see a demo of how it's used get them in and we uh, Debbie's actually here in the in the office today she's working a lot behind the scenes as well so hopefully she'll be able to get all of your questions answered for the first first Monday of what's the next month April gosh that's strange isn't it that is strange how on earth are we already mid into March uh, I hope you're having a lovely lovely morning Anyway, and um, I look forward to being with you for the next few days until John's here, remember, on Friday. We've got our brand new John Cole Morgan. Uh, he's going to be taking over the weekend, which is going to be brilliant. We've had lots of lovely messages, lots of lovely messages. Very excited to see his shows at the weekend. So today, oh, first of all, I must, um, I must explain for anybody who is new to us, uh, as I know every single day, uh, we have people joining us constantly. We are a brand new channel. We're a brand new show uh, on Shopping Quarter. We're called Sewing Street. So if you find us on Sky at 670, you can find us on Freeview on Channel 74. Uh, and you can also, our brand new home, 74 and Sky 670. Or of course, you can also watch us on the website and YouTube. So our website is www.sewingstreet.com. Uh, at the moment, as I say, because we are brand new, we're like swans. We really are. We like swans here that we're looking like we're gliding along, but underneath so much is going on underneath. We're okay. So we're all swans and Paul's the ugly duckling. He's saying it, not me, not me, not my words, his words. <laughs> oh, that was Hannah producer. That was producer Hannah's words. Uh, so there's loads going on behind the scenes at the moment. Something that is happening all the time is building our brand new website, which is very exciting. It's going to be an all brand new, gorgeous website with everything all um, nice. I, I'm not very technical. Everything will be there perfectly organised on our website. Until then, we're using Jewelry Maker's website. So we've got our own sort of home page on their website. It will redirect you. But it means you can watch on there and you can purchase. So everything for, from today's show is already there. So if you want, you can have a bit of a, a whiz through and have a look and see what it is that you want to, um, that you want to purchase. And I'll be showing you closer on screen. Um, also, you can watch back any of the demonstrations. You can watch back any of the shows on YouTube. If you type in Sewing Street TV, on YouTube then you'll be able to find all of the shows that we've been doing over the last sort of 10 days 10 days or so now as I say we want to make this show and this channel as interactive as possible at the moment there's loads going on behind the scenes so the gallery is a tiny little room to the side of me where Hannah hasn't got her own uh, system yet to, to send me messages through but um, at the moment we're using our Facebook page so I've got an iPad here. If you want to send me any messages in, then you can um, you can do it via our Facebook page. And actually, um, you can find. Hang on, where am I? Am I on? The, I'm on the fan page at the moment. Let me go on to the official page. There is a. I don't want to show everybody's post in case they don't want to see it. They don't want to show it on TV. So the Sewing Street TV on Facebook um, is where you can. Message Debbie Shaw about any of the messages, uh, any of the uh, the items that you want in the Sewing Street surgery next month. And also, let me scroll down again. You can send in any comments, any messages to us, so via um, that page. So send in messages to me on our Facebook page. As I said, it's a really, really lovely community. And um, yeah, we'd love to have your input. Uh, also, anything else I need to tell you? One PMP all day long today. So no matter how much you purchase, you can still, uh, you will still only pay one PMP all day long, no matter how many times you check out. We've got some beautiful fabrics. We've got some great books, lots of ideas. You've already noticed my um, pin cushion wrist, um, pin cushion. So many people, uh, when guest designers uh, have come in, all have these and they are great to be able to sew and just simply put, you know, your pins onto your wrist. It's a magnetic pin cushion. It looks like a watch, doesn't it? Doesn't tell the time though. Paul keeps saying, what's the time, Vic? What's the time? We're going to do it at half past the hour, but you can actually start purchasing it on the website if you want to. So it's already there underneath us on the web. Uh, where are we going to start, Hannah? 
Oh, let's start with the Fall and Lees fabric. It's the only one like this, and we absolutely love it. Now, it's extremely limited. We have less than 10 metres available. So that's half a metre. This is what half a metre looks like. If you are multi-buying, then it will um, come joined up. So basically, if you buy one metre, add two units to your order, and we'll cut it off the bolt, especially to the size that you want. Just £5.99, and look at those colours. I'm thinking if you want to do some extra embroidery over the top of it, you could do some beautiful sort of lazy daisies or French knots over it and give it some lovely texture. Colours are amazing, aren't they? Did you get the Sunset um, Jelly Roll panel? This would look lovely with that. I know how popular that was. I, I don't know whether there's still any of those left. There might be, you know, underneath the web, uh, underneath us, and this would go perfectly with that. It really would. Look at the detail. £5.99. I'm so, so sorry, Hannah. Yesterday was manic and I didn't get a chance to do it. The great thing is that we can, um, we can add to Hannah's Facebook page at any point, including me. I will add to it. Um, I've got some pictures on my phone that I, wanna, I want to add to it. So Hannah started off a, what inspires you um, with your quilting or your design? Or is there something that reminds you of fabric? You know, when you're looking around and you're always seeing different designs on fabrics or on art or on cushions or anywhere. I even saw one on a billboard at the NEC and I thought, that looks like a foundation paper piece, geometric print. Natalie said, said autumn, what, sorry? Autumn colours in the local park. She'd like to make an autumn quilt cover. I mean, this is beautiful. These would be nice for the home as well. See, the reds on my monitor, I'm not sure what yours is like, but they look almost like uh, pinky, more raspberry. Is it? Oh, uh, Paul saying it's lovely on our monitor in the gallery. This has got a really lovely burnt orange and reds, greens. You're going to be able to mix it in with lots of other fabrics. Just to remind you, you're buying by the half metre. This is quilting weight cotton, 100% cotton, quilting weight, machine washable, uh, but Think outside the box, doesn't need to just be for quilting. If you want to buy, buy the half metre, dressmakers. Oh, this would make a lovely autumn, autumnal shirt, wouldn't it, actually? That'd be lovely. I say autumnal, we are moving into spring. We are, we are, we are. But those colours are gorgeous. If I say it three times, then it, it makes it, you know, it's, gonna, it's going to make it happen. We are, we are, we are moving into spring. 20th of March counting down the days. Very, very, very limited on that one. As I said, we only had uh, 10 metres available, so if you do want more than half a metre, be aware that that is extremely limited. Can we go to... We've got cats, we've got koalas. Oh, gorgeous. So, Michael Miller, one of my favourite designers. Uh, they're always just so whimsical and so fun. We've got so many beautiful fabrics. These are the two cat fabrics, which I think are going to work so, so well together, aren't they? Oh. So we've got the, the, ball, the balls of wool, the, uh, which would be lovely to make a knitting bag, wouldn't it? And then we've also got the, uh, look at these cats. I love their big eyes. <laughs> they look so startled. <gasps> I didn't do it. They're like that, aren't they? Um, I wish we had the facility for you to send all your cat pictures in. Kind of can't wait to be able to get that back. Whenever we do cat or dog fabrics, uh, when we did at Sewing Quarter, we had so many people who would be like, oh, I've got to send you a picture of my, um, my cat. My, uh, my best friend, Cherry, she's just got two little new cats and they are so, so cute. They are so cute. Well, at the moment, they're not getting on with Arthur, her French bulldog, so Arthur's been shipped off to Grandma's for the two new cats to settle in. I'm like, Arthur? Arthur could come live with us? Absolutely. Hannah's like, oh, the French bulldog is beautiful. Cat, hello, meow. Prrr. Can you hear them in the gallery? Ooh, they, they're ooing at me purring. That is lovely, isn't it? Are you impressed by my purr? Meow. <laughs> come on, Paul. You need to come on and do all of these cat noises because they were a bit too good. He's... That's a snake. Do they? Cats make that noise. When they're angry, they hiss at you. But I am thinking for um, um, a, a, wall, a 
crochet or a knitting bag, these would be great, wouldn't they? They'd be lovely. Well, what about, have you ever seen the, uh, the June Taylor quilt as you go? Uh, fish placemats. The placemats would be nice. Or a little cat bed. If you use your foam with your cat bed, you could make um, a lovely plush bed, couldn't you, with this? Because it's machine washable as well, you can wash it. Or even, does anybody have a cushion that's dedicated to their cat? Uh, a cushion or a, a, a blanket, a quilt, that the cat sits on, only the cat sits on, that they've sort of claimed as their own. You could do your very own um, cat quilt, couldn't you, for your cat or somebody that loves cats. Just £5.99 and a half metre. Because it doesn't scream novelty cats, I think this would be lovely as a border in a quilt as well. Right, next one. Right, we've got another brand new Michael Miller fabric. Sorry, I've got to get my folding right, haven't I? There'll be complaints, there'll be messages coming in from the management, sending me on my folding. <laughs> I can't tell you where I'm going this weekend because it's a surprise, I'll have to tell you when I get back. In case Kieran's watching. It's his, it's his big birthday this weekend. Look at this. Oh, I love the background as well. Look at the moon and the stars. Oh, look at the cat with the mouse. There's the cat and the mouse. Can you see him? Cat in a box. Cat with the ball of wool. What would you call it? <laughs> I just love how startled that. Can you see the one? The one, hang on, under the graphic there. Literally under the graphic. I love it. And in that one. <laughs> oh, I love it. The shooting stars. Look at the one with the little bow on his head. See that orange one in the middle? <laughs> OK, let's move about the way. Oh, no, there's another two. <laughs> oh, I love that. I like the blue cat. The black cat with the red wool, so cute. Can you imagine using your new crafty tool with this as well? Your new, um, your, uh, you could fussy cut round them. It'd be very difficult, actually, with scissors to get around some of those curves, but with the new uh, gyro cut, that would be really, really easy. You could make a really beautiful cat collage, couldn't you, or your own fabrics. Just a plique. What I would do is just take one of the cats and a plique onto like a little plain white T-shirt, just poking out the top of a pocket or something. Oh, I like the grey one as well. Just so you know, the Falling Leaves fabric has now sold out. Lots selling out very, very quickly. Be aware if it's disappeared from the website, it means it's gone. £5.99 and a half metre. This is 112 uh, wide. Half a metre, um, as I say, is, um, it, it is what we sell in half metres. So if you want more than that, Oh, absolutely. You can take advantage of multiplying and it will be cut off the bolt for you. So if you want two metres, for example, then add four units to your order and um, it will be cut for you. Oh, it's just so fun. I love Michael Miller. It's really playful fabric. Some of the prints that he's done um, in the past have just been quite whimsical and, and, and fun without this being childish. Do you know what I mean? This would be nice for, um, for, for storage boxes as well, maybe, in your workroom, pin cushions and bits bobs like that. OK, talking about pin cushions, we're going to do this about half past the hour, but you can start reserving your place on, um, on pre-order. Well, I say pre-order. It's not pre-order, is it? It's you can buy it. You can buy it. It's underneath us on the web. You can reserve your... Um, you can just make sure you're there be quickly before it sells out. Look, there you go, it's, um, it doesn't tell the time. Paul's trying to tell me to do it to, to half 12. There you go. <laughs> OK. So, when I met lovely, lovely, lovely John, um, John Cole Morgan is our brand new presenter here. He's going to be um, on air Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I think, Wednesday, I'm not sure. But he'll be here all weekend anyway. Um, 
we got the home and the gifts. Which one would you want to do, sorry? Home first. So we had a really good look through this the other morning with, um, with John, and it is a brilliant, brilliant book from Wendy Gardner. The great thing is, right, so, you know, I just was holding half a metre. For anyone who's new to us, half of it, so that much, is a fat quarter. So half of your half metre is a fat quarter, which is a lot of fabric. And I know a lot of people that are starting out who buy maybe fat quarter packs are thinking, what can I make if you need some inspiration? In here, you've got 16 very, very useful projects for your home for £9.99. We launched this the other day with John. We started with 100 books. OK, we've got 30 left. 30 left and I actually said can we bring this back because there was so much going on in John's show we obviously spent a lot of time getting to know him we flicked through some of these projects and we wanted to obviously John was talking about how he knows Wendy and he was talking a lot about Wendy so I thought we should bring this back really so we can have a look at some of the projects in here it's the last 30 these will sell out today I think there's some really lovely projects John has um John has promised he's going to make us one of these iPad um cushions, hasn't he, for our, our on-set iPad. There's so many lovely uh, projects in here. So you start with your contents uh, and also talking through what a fat quarter actually is. Um, so again, as I say, it's half of your half metre. For anybody that's new, this is a great book to, to sort of start with as well as pick up if you're experienced. It, it talks you through what you're going to need, interfacings, waddings, threads, stabilisers, any trimmings, any tools that you're going to need throughout the book. Also then measuring tools. You don't need all these, but it's gonna talk you through you know, why why they would be good. So different scissors, for example, your dressmaking scissors, your embroidery scissors, your pinking shears. Oh, someone asked me on Facebook the other day, I must remember to find out for you, pinking shears, left-handed pinking shears. I'll try and find, I'll try and find out a pair of um, pinking shears for you that are left-handed. Um, all the different techniques that you're going to be using. There's a whole chapter before you get to the, the projects on learning new techniques like seaming, simple seams, finishing your seams, uh, creating buttonholes, which I know was one of the questions on the surgery yesterday. So it will talk you through buttonholes and patchwork, quilting. There's so much in this book, not just those 16 projects. Free motion embroidery, applique, Twin needling, which is a beautiful effect. Decorative stitching again. So, I mean, there's loads and loads and loads. And then, oh, this is good. We did a whole uh, show with Victoria the other day and it's been so well received. There's been a lot of messages in saying how useful that was. Because quite often we will do patchwork demonstrations or we have done in the past patchwork demonstrations and we will be doing, but we can't make a whole quilt in an hour. And uh, equally, we can't do the whole binding of a quilt in a half an hour. So it was really, really good to, to see Victoria um, Carrington doing that demonstration, which you can watch back on YouTube. Or I'm sure we'll get Sylvia on the show at some point. You might have heard John Carl Morgan talking about um, his friend Sylvia, who binds all of his quilts for him. So we've got to get her on the show. Piping tips as well. Yeah, please be aware. If you've got it in your basket, we've got now less than 20. So please do check out as soon as you can. It's fine, there's one postage and packaging all day, if, even if you're checking out multiple times. Just be aware, if you've got it in your basket, it doesn't guarantee that it's yours. I'm guilty of it, I do it all the time. I'll put something in my basket, phone will ring, or I'll go off and have a cup of tea or do something, and I'll come back and it's gone out my basket. I get really annoyed thinking, where is it gone? <laughs> it's been kicked out because it's been sold out. Um, okay. Let's go on to the projects. These are all lovely gift ideas, aren't they? Maybe somebody that's got a new home, you could buy them a cafetiere and make a cafetiere cosy for it. For Mother's Day, these are lovely gifts, aren't they? So Hannah said her mum's on a bit of a diet at the moment. She says, I'm going to do a nice breakfast, but a nice coffee with it and make a cafetiere cover, uh, buy a nice coffee as a Mother's Day present or like a little nice tea mat, like reversible mat. Makes it a bit more special, doesn't it, than, um, you know, stealing a tray from the kitchen. <laughs> and these are really lovely, quick, easy makes. As I say, just using a fat quarter. What about some little coasters? They're lovely, aren't they? Love little coasters. I am one of these coaster people that if you come to my house, I welcome you with a coaster. Do not put it down and make a ring mark on my... I've got a bit of a pet hate about that. Hello, Tina. Tina's messaged in. Good morning, Tina. She says, morning, lovely ladies. 
Lovely ladies. We've got Joe, Paul, Hannah. Oh, lovely lady. Oh, mate, thank you. Love the new shows. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you very, very much. Oh, we've got such amazing things going on behind the scenes. Lots of guest designers who are in talks every day. Lots of suppliers as well. I know that our, our, our buying team have been up and down the country at supplier meetings, so very exciting. Um, the oven gloves. Do you know if you just want to revamp your kitchen just with some new tea towels, oven gloves, cafetiere, cosy bits and bobs like this. This was a lovely project, actually, that we were talking about with John, because quite often you lose your tape measure, you lose your marking tools, you might lose your rum picker, you might lose your, uh, your little embroidery snips. So it's good to have a nice little, um, embroider a nice little organiser on your wall. Oh, and the wrist pin cushion as well. 16 projects, very, very clearly all laid out with what you're going to need, any notes or any tips. Also, uh, all of your instructions very, very clearly uh, spaced out along with di diagrams and photographs. So it's really lovely and clear. I saw Debbie Shaw do this and it's a brilliant technique. I really, really love this. Storage for on your dressing table or as we've got it here as a fruit bowl, maybe a bread basket. They're absolutely lovely, very, very on trend. I've started going around, you know, obviously we're all in a world where we're starting to think, of course, more about sustainability and being more eco-friendly. So we went through a bit of a stage where everything was very plasticky. Um, you know, you'd go to those big department stores or those big home furnishing stores and everything was very big and plastic. Whereas now we're seeing lots more of bamboo furniture and bits and bobs like that, biodegradable products. So having things like this, instead of big plastic bowls, to have your cool fabric bowl, it's just nice, nice for the world, isn't it, for the planet? Nice for the planet. Um, your phone pillow as well as your tablet pillow. I think a lot of people, I get a lot of messages saying, right, my grandson, I want to make something for my granddaughter, my grandson, or, you know, I want to make something useful that they're going to use. Um, there's only so many quilts that, don't get me wrong, I love, love, love gifting a quilt. For a new baby or someone's special birthday, going off to uni, something like that. But these are really nice quick makes that are actually very, very useful. So, we talked about this with John. He likes to, uh, when he's ever, whenever he's got guests who are uh, coming over to stay, he says, I like to hand them a pair of slippers as well. Imagine if you had your own slippers, maybe your name embroidered or for, for a bridal party, for a wedding. Maybe if somebody's going into hospital, you could make them their own nice little slippers. They're lovely. But it's got so many, so many different projects in here. Knitting bag. Oh, we like this one with the... Um, Maybe with your new cat fabric. Hannah's in a really good mood today, by the way, I must say. She's in a really good mood. I uh, picked her up. I think it's because she spent... Did you, um, did you sit in that, um, you know, the place with the golden arches? Yeah. McDonald's. Um, Hannah had how many breakfasts under 300 calories did you have today? One today. So she looks for the, um, the breakfasts that are under 300 calories. But if they're all under 300 calories, it means that you can have three, really, doesn't it? Because they're all healthy. <laughs> oh, Joe, this is your cup of tea. It's a cable tidy roll. How good is that? So our, um, our, our cameraman, he came with all of his um, wires for his phone chargers with cable ties around them. So organised. So organised. I'm that sort of person that has these everywhere, just called up the amount of people that I'm, I'm a singer, so I've got used to how to actually coil cables properly, but I, I am known to, for Kieran to have to untangle all my hair, straighten his cables and all that sort of thing. But so this would be really good for me to have all of my um, singing wires, all my cables in, because I suppose you could upscale it, couldn't you? Oh, a pinny gardener's apron, nice unisex gift. Our favourite one, a gin and a tonic, as John was saying, gin and tonic, or, um, yeah, drink responsibly. <laughs> but it's a nice cushioned one, isn't it? Look, with a little divider in. That's great. Uh, notebook cover. Very pretty with the rick rack. Nice personalised gift idea. You could even embroider somebody's name on, couldn't you? Hand stitch somebody's name. So um, Hannah's feeling very sort of wedding heavy at the moment because her friends, everyone's getting married around her. She says, everyone but me, but she's making um, notebooks for everybody. Well, notebook covers, you know, wedding planning, the, uh, wedding planning books. They're nice to keep then, aren't they? 
Oh, where's the bridesmaid? She's singing now in my ear. You twisted tuck pillow, that's a nice technique. <laughs> oh, look at this. Nice little custard creams. Oh, it's just reminded me I haven't had a slurp of my tea yet. <gasps> Hello, Claire. Hi, Claire. Oh, lovely Claire from Solihull. Claire, so I was chatting to Claire um, about... She's a figure skater as well. She's an ice skater. So, did you know this? So, Ben Hamlin, who's in Dancing on Ice, or I think he's still in it, he's from where I live in Warwick, his family are. So, before Christmas, he was up and he made friends with my husband, Kieran, because Kieran was... Well, I don't think he knew who he was, but he's a magician. He was doing magic tricks. Um, and Claire Messer saying, oh, yeah, I see him all the time at Sully Hill Ice Rink, going around practising. He's very good, isn't he? Very good. What did Claire say anyway? Sorry, I digress. I got distracted. <laughs> good morning, Claire. Oh, thank you, Claire. She says, I love having you back at... Um, I love having you back on TV. It's lovely to be back on TV. It's lovely to be back with you. Um, thank you for your message. We need to meet up, Claire, in Sully Hill, because I'm literally only 10 minutes down the road. We need to get you on here. Claire who make things. Right. That's what she calls herself, Claire's Claire who makes things. Then you've also got your pattern sheets, which, can I say, are all full size as well. Oh! They're all full size, which is handy because you don't need to worry about upscaling. Uh, one of the questions yesterday for Debbie Shaw was how to transfer any of the patterns without cutting it up. Uh, she suggested, I know, a tracing paper, but I know you could use freezer paper um, up on the website. Uh, we have still got freezer paper available. Or I know that Debbie was saying that her mum used to use newspaper. Very frugal, newspaper. Freezer paper's good because you can iron it on and then you can cut really nice and neatly around. It's a really good price at the moment for how much you get on the roll. I think it's £6.49 and it's normally sourced from America. It's a, a very famous product in America, so normally you'd have to pay quite a big shipping charge for it. So fantastic that we've managed to get that in stock for you. This now is extremely, extremely limited, just so you're aware. Uh, £9.99, as I say, you have got 16 uh, projects which makes your price per project just pence um, but also lots of techniques at the front which I love that's £9.99 can I just revisit um, the cat fabric from Michael Miller half a meter looks like this just so you're aware um, this is twice as popular as the strung out fabric is the, the balls of wool. So just so you're aware, this one is the first time it's been on air. It could be the last. Love the quality of Michael Miller fabric. Um, it is designer fabric that is so, so beautiful. Quilting cotton, machine washable, quilting weight fabric. Perfect for fussy cutting as well. And just so much fun. It's, I wouldn't even say it's a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit of novelty, but still, not childish, it's really fun. I think this is going to be really, really lovely for quilting, for maybe a cat cushion. Look at the cat and the mouse in the centre. I love it. <laughs> oh, and the little one with the ball of wool. Look at him hugging it. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. 5.99 and a half metre, and half a metre looks like that. Fat quarter. Maybe if you want to do the um, the knitting bag, that's just that's two fat quarters and half a meter basically. So you'll be able to have a go with um, with lots of the lots of the projects in the book. Right, is it time? It's time. So um, there's different colour straps on this, isn't there? So you will get. Um, oh, sorry, different colour. It's all, They're all white straps, but it's a different colour centre. So this one's yellow, but I think there's an array of colours that you might get. It's from Hemline. And um, it comes in a nice little case, so if you do want to... Um, if you do want to gift it, it comes nicely in, like, a little watch case. Oh, there's a pink colour, I think, available. Uh, I think there's a pink colour as well. And you can see it's a really lovely, strong magnet, so you can actually fit loads of pins in there. Loads and loads of pins. So, those of you that do a lot of machine sewing, 
and using pins, um, which we all do, I would always suggest that you don't sew over pins. I know a lot of people do. It scares me. If you do, you, well, one, the only reason I say that is because I have heard of stories where they can just ping out and you've got to be very, very careful, obviously, with the eyes. But also, it can damage your machine, it can break your needle. So, if you've got one of these wrist uh, pin cushions on, it makes it a lot easier to simply sew along and put your pins, take your pins out and put them there without having to find your pin cushion or put them back in its tray. It makes it a lot easier. Dressmakers as well, if you're doing alterations for somebody, um, you don't have to keep going back over to your desk. You literally have it on your wrist and you're altering something as you've got it there. Really, really handy. I know so many, so many ladies that use them all the time, all the time. Really lovely and comfortable to wear, I must say, as well. It's like a silicon, it's a silicon um, uh, strap, which is, I want to say, sort of magnetic. You don't need to add any holes, basically. So no matter what size wrist you have, it's great. That's today less than £10. A gift under £10. A lot of people I know ask about gifts for sewers, what to buy a sewer. I think this would be a great gift for somebody. Uh, and it is a really lovely, soft silicone strap. Remember, your colour will be at random. It's your strap-on magnetic pin cushion for £6.49. The magnet is just that little bit in the middle. But it's great, isn't it? It is really, really, as I say, it's very magnetic. It's very um, safe, isn't it, to have that little dip in as well. Don't come out. If I'm doing a bit of a, a dance, they don't come out. There we go, not coming out. That's my floss. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. £6.49. Although, this morning, can I say, because I think we were talking about doing the time, we were all doing the time walk this morning. I say all of us, me and Joe were doing the time walk and they were singing it in the gallery, but I can't remember what the first line is. No, is it take a step to your left and then you jump to the right? I can't remember what it starts with though. Oh, we've set her off now. We've set her off. £6.49. Please do check out. If you've already um, purchased half a metre of your fabric or if you've purchased the book, if you've already opened your order and paid three ninety five, you can add this to your order and you won't pay any more postage and packaging. What happens is that all of your orders will be consolidated at midnight tonight. So even if you come back in later, if you've watched a replay and you think, oh, actually, I'm going to get some freezer paper or I'm going to get something else or I'm going to make the most of the sewing machine, something like that, you're still only going to pay one postage and packaging all day long, which is great, isn't it? £6.49. It's, quite, it's, it's really lovely and comfortable. And this nice white colour, that looks lovely for spring. Quarter of the stock has gone. Remember, you'll definitely get a white wristband. It's, it's in, it's, um, there's pink ones, there's blue ones, there's yellow ones of the... Uh... The pins come with it as well, by the way. The pins do come with it. You get six pins as well. And it comes, if you are thinking of it as a gift for somebody, it does come in a nice little hemline box as well. A little pin caddy. Treat yourself. Do not put your pins in your mouth or in the sofa. <laughs> I, I still see people do it. I know I went when I had my dress alterations for my wedding dress, those over the pins in the mouth like this, and I'm like, oh gosh, don't do that. So this is really handy. I might get her one of these actually. <laughs> As a thank you, <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? Okay, should we do the other Michael Miller fabric? Oh, I absolutely love, love, love this range. Um, these are the only ones that we actually have from this range as well. Are we going to the, the floral ones? Yeah, OK, let's do the lanterns first. They're all the same collection. They're beautiful. I know why Hannah loves this. She spent a lot of time, well, I say a lot of time. How long were you in Japan for? Only the weekend. <laughs> a lot of time, two days. This is beautiful. She spent the weekend in Tokyo. I love this um, oriental feel. It's so pretty, especially as we're moving into the spring. How beautiful are these lanterns? OK, first time on air. Already, I haven't even shown it yet, and there's loads of you that have checked out on it from the website. It's all available underneath us on the web. 
I think this would be so pretty for dressmaking. Do you know, um, we need to speak to, to Nina Lee as well. Nina, um, who is a dressmaker, she has such beautiful patterns. These would be really nice for her pyjama pattern. How gorgeous are they? They're really, really pretty. The pinks have almost got like an ombre, subtle ombre background. The lanterns are kind of fit 3D actually, aren't they? They're really jumping out. It's lovely colours. The use of colours in it is very, very pretty. What about for a blind? What about for a roller blind? They would look really nice. We've got to definitely do roller blinds and Roman blind show, haven't we? Even bag making, I think this would make a nice clutch bag. There's uh, a few bags in the, um, I think in the other Wendy Gardner book actually, the, the gifts, and also there's Debbie Shaw's bag books underneath us on the web also. They'd be really nice for the backpack or the satchel maybe. Oh, Hannah's thinking a big weekend bag. Right, so if you're looking at a big weekend bag, I'd probably buy a couple of metres maybe, or, a, you know, a metre and a half. It depends what you're going to line it with, doesn't it? Um, but even if you were to use this with some solid, you could pick out the blue, you could pick out the green, you could pick out the pinks. We've also got, can I show you that coming up, you could use one of these as if you were to just buy, say, half a metre of both of those, they look lovely together. We'll come on to that. With nice hardware, maybe like the antique bronze colour D-rings. You're going out there gold. Silver would look nice as well. Of course, it's a big weekend bag. She says, I don't know where I'm going, but got to have big gold, um, big gold uh, bag furniture. <laughs> Big gold D-rings. What are we talking about, everyone? I think we're delirious today. We are live, we are live. Lots of people have put that into their basket. Remember, um, you can multi-buy, you can multi-buy, it'll be cut off the bolt to whatever size you want. It'll be cut off the bolt to whatever size you want. Should we do the blue colorway or the pink vines? This isn't, this is like a lovely soft turquoisey blue, which is my absolute favorite. Oh, see, I, I think this is my cup of tea. What about um, for fussy cutting as well? Okay, Hannah, are you digressing or is this, do you want me to ask this on air? Did, <laughs> Hannah's just all of a sudden just gone, did anyone watch the antique road show at the weekend? I thought, oh, she's bored. <laughs> She's bored talking to me. No, she says there was a beautiful... God, she says I only saw bits of it. If you saw Antique Roadshow at the weekend. There was a traditional... ...dress. She says it was absolutely beautiful. Right, please, I'm hoping that some... I'm, I'm hoping that somebody watched it because it's... <laughs> this reminds her of it. It was yellow. Why did I start repeating what Hannah was saying in my ear? <laughs> I'm hoping that somebody at home goes, yes, I know what you mean. I watched Antique Roadshow and I understand. Because none of us understand what Hannah's talking about. It's strange though, isn't it, how we were talking about this with Hannah the other day, ironically on air, how a fabric can just conjure up a memory. And this reminded her of the Antique Roadshow that she watched over the weekend. Nothing like it. It was a yellow dress, but reminds her. I know what you mean. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Five ninety nine, half a metre, and that beautiful mint, gorgeous, isn't it? But then you've got also your greens and your blues. You're still going to be able to mix it in with lots of other fabrics. Half a metre of your lovely lanterns for five pounds ninety nine, half metre, brand new, never been to air before. We've also got the two, I'm saying very loosely, blender fabrics. Um, we talked with John um, on, uh, what day was it? Sunday. When John Cole Morgan was here, he's a, a fabulous quilter, and he actually had the, the chance of meeting Kaif and talking to Kaif about his, his journey on quilting. And Kaif said to him to start to look at different scales of print and textures of print. Um, to, to take your quilts to that next level. And this is what I mean. Adding in, that's quite a big print. So if you're doing small pieces, 
you're not you're only going to see part of there aren't you so this one i imagine is a big cushion front or a bag or as i say you could fussy cut around them but it's going to give it a completely different look whereas if you are using it in quilting i'd definitely use that as maybe like your borders or a larger block i wouldn't be cutting that into small pieces unless that's what you want to do um these are the ones that maybe are going to work better as a smaller print for, for smaller pieces. We've got the pink and the blue, which complement the mint and the pink. Mint and the pink perfectly. I tell you what, actually, even separately, I know a lot of fabrics that would go with this. They, it's a bit Liberty-esque. That's so pretty. It's, yeah, I, I don't really like to call it a, a blender, but it is, do you know what I mean? It's one of those that you can add in with lots of other fabrics and it's going to work. Oh, what about binding? Victoria Carrington has inspired us all, hasn't she? I always just use solid fabric, my binding, and she was like, oh no, we're all about the jazzy binding. So we've got stripes, different patterns, different ombre colours, scrappy, bind, scrappy bindings, scrappy bindings. Uh, that was like my toffee latte this morning, wasn't it? £5.99. That's the pink at £5.99. We've also got the blue. Just realised the time. An hour's not enough, is it? We need longer. We will be longer soon. We will be longer. Hannah wants wallpaper like this. Why don't you just make a massive quilt and hang it up? See, you, what you could do, I'm all for, do you know sometimes you want a quick quilt? You want a quicker quilt than having, um, you know, hours of foundation paper piecing or patchwork. It's the time and a place, isn't there? But you could do a big quilt, big blocks, and just concentrate on doing some free motion quilting with this. That'd look lovely. £5.99 half metre. Do you know the Tilda book, the one with the teapots? The teapot quilt would look really lovely because they look like that blue china, don't they? They would look like that lovely blue china, like Delph. Delph pottery. 5 99 half metre. That's, I think that's a good one to just have in your stash. Get a couple of metres of that. It's going to work with a lot and also be lovely for dressmakers as well. I could see our, our John Cole Morgan in a shirt of that. That's so beautiful, I like the colour. Right. The Wendy Gardner Gifts Book. So, when we started talking about uh, the home one, we actually had people coming in for both. So people coming in for both the home and the gifts. There's now less than 20 of the gifts. We started with 100 of these on Sunday. Friday, Sunday, Friday, over the weekend. Um, and now there's about 20 of these. It was Sunday, wasn't it? It was Sunday. There's your gifts from Wendy Gardner. It, it does include your full size templates as well. There's lovely Wendy, who I know John um, is a huge advocate of. So in here, it talks you through what you're going to be able to see, but again, it starts off as it does in the other book, with a bit of an introduction, with different tools and what you're going to need to get started, the techniques that the book covers. So for somebody who's brand new, um, this is a great, great start into making some lovely small gifts. Using twin needles, decorative stitches, exactly the same intro as before, your trims, you're adding your bias binding or binding, straight binding, a zip. All good techniques to be able to, to learn. And then, your projects, let's have a look through what we've got. So, quite often you'll buy a book that's a bag book or a quilt book or a, 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 um, a toy book or, I mean, this is great because it's so versatile. Your two-tone acoustic tote bag. <laughs> no, sorry, my duo, that means it's called two-tone acoustic and they're all saying to me, oh my word, this could be for you. I do need a new tote bag. I do, do you know what? Uh, Mine is falling apart and I keep, I keep going like this to Debbie Shaw. Oh, my bag's falling apart. If only I knew somebody that was a world famous bag maker. My bag's falling apart and Debbie's like looking at me. You make your own bag, buy my book and make your own bag. <laughs> so I can make my own. 
Um, our lovely Hayley, she bought a beautiful tote bag in Zanzibar. It's gorgeous print. Uh, even if you find a lovely fabric that you love from, uh, you know, on your travels, you can make yourself a simple tote bag. Um, cosmetic pouch, something else I need. I told you this, um, my, my, in fact, my sister actually heard me. My sister said, Vic, I'm buying you a new make bag, makeup bag, because you, um, you were saying on air that I always take, you know, you go on holidays and you've got your clear plastic bag. That ends up just becoming my makeup bag. So it'd be nice to make yourself a lovely, um, a lovely little tote bag and a makeup roll brush kit. You need to look after your makeup brushes. Or what about your painting brushes? If you do any art, if you know somebody that does art. Oh. Hang on, I love these. Hang on. Fat quarter. A fat quarter. Summer shorts out of a fat quarter. We're all a bit confused. I don't think we're going to fit in. Um, who likes short shorts? Paul likes short shorts. These might be for Paul. Miniature sized shorts out of a fat quarter. And he says, gosh, these are perfect for me because that's where I keep my pencils. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did I say that on the telly? <laughs> Don't go away. Let's move on. Let's move on. Scissor keeper. <laughs> Pin cushion in a cup. Oh, we've had guests come in that have done this, like with a, a little teacup. In fact, doesn't Debbie Shaw have um, a yellow teacup? that she keeps all of her wonder clips. She keeps all of her wonder clips in there. I was watching yesterday's show, you know. I was watching yesterday's show. She keeps her wonder clips in a yellow teacup. Neck cushion. Hannah's got, um, I think we're all one of the, have you ever been in an airport and you think, do you know what, I'm walking around the airport for a couple of hours. You end up buying one of those really overpriced neck cushions, don't you? You can just tie them to the outside of your bag. Um, these are lovely, aren't they, to be able to make your own. Maybe a gift for somebody who's going travelling. Nice, then you'd, you'd keep it, you'd look after it a bit more. Because you are always jealous, aren't you, when you see somebody that, that's, that's got one next to you on the aeroplane and you're trying to get comfy with, like, oh, you scrunch up your coat and try and... No, it's not the same, is it, as having a nice personalised sleep neck pillow and an eye mask to match. Gosh, imagine how lovely you're going to look kitted out with your personalised, with your own, very own neck cushion and eye mask. I'm off to Australia in uh, the end of April and I've never done, obviously, Australia, you can't get much further than that. Uh, but I do like to get myself a bit kitted out. When we went to Mexico on honeymoon, I took face masks with me. I was like, do you want a face mask here? And we put the face mask on, on the plane. <laughs> we look really funny. Nobody sat, nobody sat near us, no, they moved. Like these two strange people with getting their face masks out and all sorts. You've got your ta tablet sleeve, you've got a lovely little retro purse, lots of great gift ideas. I'm going to quickly whiz through now. Your flying geese lunch bag. Also, you're learning also, you know, some really lovely um, quilting blocks as well. Breaking news, breaking news. Hot off the press. Literally hot off the press, hello. Hello. You look okay. lovely. You we're people. matching. We are, we are. Hello, hello. <laughs> what have you got for us? Panel. Oh, amazing. Panel. Oh, so these go with the Michael Miller cats? Yeah. There's actually feature panels. Cute, isn't it? Oh, my word. Oh, it's so, so cute. This is Hayley, by the way, who's our head of TV, aren't you? Yes. You're very, very busy, very busy, literally running around to get this on. <laughs> this wasn't here this morning. I just picked it up from the warehouse on the way in. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? I just love, look at their eyes. They're so cute. And the mouse, look at the little mouse with the little bird. That is so cute. So if you're multi-buying this, they're already cut, aren't they? They're, yes, yeah. They're already cut, so they'll come separately if you're multi-buying. But if you want to make a quick quilt, I think actually you could sort of patch these together, use some of the, um, the, the wool fabric and the, the cat fabric that we had earlier. And the great thing as well, you've also got the stripes down the side, which are so got detailed. Little, little mice there. They look like mouses. they're yeah, mouses. <laughs> little mouses. I know it's mice, little ball, ball of strings. <laughs> 
Oh, they're so lovely. They look like they're um, like embroidery, don't they? Embroidered. Seven pounds ninety nine. Oh, thanks for this, Haley. Everyone's Fish. coming in for it. Fishes. Fishes. Oh, that is right. <laughs> that is right. Fishes. Is it fishes? Fish. There's ten fishes. There's ten no, it's fish. Oh, it's fish. Oh, it's fish. <laughs> what are we like? It's still early. Carry on checking out for the panel. I like the detail in the background as well. You've got yeah. the little paw prints. Paws. Paws. <laughs> I think we need to we go. Need to, yeah, we need to go. We turn into paw. Bye. <laughs> this is what happens when you have Paul in your ear. In how many days are we on now in a row of having Paul in our ear? 14 days in a row of Paul's puns. That's what happens to you. Carry on going through for the panel. £7.99. There's loads and loads of you there going through for that. And the detail, again, how great would this be with Noel's um, gyro cut, the um, to fussy cut, onto a card or a collage or something? You could make a beautiful, beautiful gift for somebody. Oh. Just looking at the detail of the background. <laughs> Look at the family of cats. I love their eyes. Love their eyes. Tea time. Front of cushions as well. These would be nice, wouldn't they? Oh, I do like that one. The one that's... The one with the wool. Oops. Oh, it's lovely. The upside down umbrella. I thought it was a boat. Oh, yes, I've just noticed it's an umbrella. Little boat for a mouse. And the taxi, look at the taxi. <laughs> oh, that's so fun, isn't it? This is what we love about Michael Miller. They're really fun fabrics, aren't they? And lovely detail on the stripe as well. Thank you for that one, Hayley. Thank you for that one. Um, right. Hot off the press, that panel. It's just literally been added to the website, so you can now purchase that. Uh, are we done with the gifts? Also, you do, get your, uh, you do get your patterns in the back. Sorry, we got a bit distracted at the short shorts, didn't we? I think that's when it, it all went a bit <laughs> wrong for us, so we'll move on from the Backwaters gift book. Please let me know if you, make the, uh, if you do make up the shorts. Let us know. <laughs> Send in pictures, we think, um, for Paul. The koalas are just gorgeous. There's, it's not, there's not just um, koalas on here. You've also got sloths. It's, right, so hang on. Fishes, fish. Mice is mice. What about um, sloth? Is it a sloth? Oh, these are koalas. These are koalas. The other one's got sloths on as well. Oh, I love this. Look at the one with the koala on his back. You've met a koala, haven't you, Joe? Joe's held a koala. Yeah. Oh, it's so lovely, though. Look at the one with him on his head. Five ninety-nine a half meter. This is from the Joey range from Riley Blake. Riley Blake, another very, 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 very famous quilt design, um, quilt and fabric designer. Koala fabric, half a meter is six pounds ninety-nine. How beautiful is that? Oh, it's so adorable. Do you know? Uh, I'm thinking for a new uh, nursery. Maybe things like lampshade covers, little quilt. You could make a mobile. You could make um, like a, a, a nappy storage. Uh, not a used nappy storage tub, but you know, like nappy storage and little storage tubs for your um, uh, toys and bits and bobs like that. They're so lovely colours, aren't they? The other koala is the one with the sloths as well. The koala and the sloths. Or as Victoria Carrington um, suggested, some people call them sloths. I saw one at the, uh, the London Zoo. It was just a little baby sloth and it was so cute. Really, you can go to the, uh, you can go to the sanctuary for, um, for them in Costa Rica, apparently. Anna wants to go. Again, from the Joey range, £6.99. Beautiful fabric. 100% quality, 100% uh, cotton. Six ninety nine a half metre. Navy blue, ochre, 
ochre colours in there as well. So you could mix that in with your solid ochre, blue, like a corally tone, your greys. There's so many different shades in there as well, isn't there? Oh, are you thinking for your short shorts? A little bag for your short shorts when you go swimming. Kids' dungarees, little dresses. You know, oh, like the neckerchiefs that you do instead of the bibs that you can dribble. Is this for children still? This is for Hannah. <laughs> They'd be lovely. Six pounds, 99 and a half metre for your Riley Blake blue koala fabric. Six pound, 99, it's beautiful. And it is um, Riley Blake fabric, so you know the quality of it. You know the quality. Okay. Sorry, my cup of tea. There we go. Ugh. Shall we go to the bees? So, these are always on our set. We think they look so pretty, especially for spring. Aren't they gorgeous? We've got the, the, the knitting bag, we've got the pincushion, and we've got the magic box. I like to call this the magic box, and you'll see why in a second. Um, which one should we do first? Let's go for the knitting bag first. It's, uh, well, I say a knitting bag. I, I, it's, a, it's a drawstring bag. It'll be great for crochet and wool, but it's also really lovely. Um, just a nice drawstring bag, isn't it? I like that you've got all of these lovely little felt 3D bees on here. Oh, sorry. There you go. Sorry, bee. I do love bees and the little look, the little door on the beehive. I was about to say that. That's, I've spent too much time with Paul. He obviously just said, I'll be high if, in, in my ear. But this is great if you're thinking of storing, um, again, wool crochet bits and bobs. £16.99, and I like that it's, it's nice and squishy, isn't it? The little pin cushion. I've had a lot of requests to see these up close because, as I say, they've been sitting on our on our set since day dot. That's so lovely again, isn't it? There you go. I don't want to put one straight into the bee. Nine pounds ninety nine for your pin cushion. How cute is that? It's lovely to just have on your work desk, isn't it? I, I wouldn't want to put my pins in it. I'd just keep it as it is. It's lovely. And then, are you ready? Da, 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 da. Let's get this in the prime shot. Are you ready, Paul? Um, this is the magic box. It's a storage box with a difference. Are you ready? You can guess what's coming, can't you? Here we go. This is a pin cushion on the top as well, so... You can use it as a pin cushion. The lid doubles up as a pin cushion. And then you take the lid off. And all of these sections spring out. All of the bits and bobs come included. You get a pair of snips. How lovely would this look on even your, your kitchen shelf or your conservatory shelf? If you don't have a dedicated sewing room, it's, it's nice that this looks, looks nice anywhere. Or even a new home gift. These are all handy things, even if you're not a sewer sewer. Um, you've got a little pincushion in the middle. You've got extra little storage compartments, your thread, your needle threader, your unpicker. You've also got your tape measure. These are all really, really handy things, aren't they? £22.99. I think that's such a lovely gift. And then it all folds into that hexi. We love it. And again, look at the detail with your bees and the embroidery on the side. Something like this um, would take you a long time to make, wouldn't it? It's a great gift for somebody for less than £25, £22.99, and really useful things in there as well. Right, 
So, those of you that want to purchase anything from today's show, or if there's, there's a couple of bits and bobs that we'll have to take into tomorrow's show, because we've run out of time, but they'll all be underneath us on the web anyway, so if you do want to have a bit of a browse, there's still the freezer paper, Debbie Shaw's books, there's all sorts on that website. Have a bit of a look over the next, um, uh, over the next few hours, they'll all be live there underneath us on our website, www.sewingstreet.com. Um, also, what's coming up next on the replay, Paul? Yesterday's show. So you can see Debbie Shaw's surgery. Uh, the surgery will be open for the next hour and she'll be going through all of your hacks and hints and tips of how to, to, um, to make different things. It's lovely to have your company this morning. Thank you for, for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow again, same time, same place at nine o'clock. Bye.